G'day YouTubers, my name is Hiyo Rider. Um, now I'm a new v Moto Vlogger. Um, I, I ride my bike into work every day. Uh, I figured, you know, why not make my own Moto Vlog? I've been following the likes of, you know, Leadpin and AJ Nickelodeon, uh, Chris Now. Uh, you know, I figured yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. You know, I could probably, I could do that. Make it look so easy. Um, so here I am. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm coming to you from a beautiful sunny Queensland. Um, it's only sunny now. It's actually it's pouring rain earlier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I noticed there's not a huge amount of moto vloggers in, uh, in the Brisbane area, particularly on the north side, which is where I live, obviously. Uh, so I figured, you know, I might give it a shot. You see some pretty crazy stuff on the roads here in Brisbane. So as you can tell from the name, Hiyo Rider, I actually ride a Hiyo Sung. I ride the 2013 Hiyo Sung GT650R. Uh, now they're a Korean bike. They're uh, imported by S&T. Um, they haven't been around for a huge long time, um, but they're down good. They're a good quality bike for, for being so cheap. Um, obviously being Korean, there's a spiderweb. So not a half bad bike. Obviously you're not going to get the same amount of quality as you, as you probably would expect from like a Suzuki or something. But still good nonetheless. What is this, get every freaking red light day or something? What the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> what? What on earth? So, you know, I'll try and keep a, at least a weekly or a bi-weekly sort of a um, vlog going. Come on, mate, what the heck are you doing? Wakey wakey. What? What a loser. Guy was half asleep. Um you saw me back there, I was, I was splitting. Um, it's just been legalized in, in Queensland to allow lane filtering and splitting underneath 30 kilometers an hour. Now, it's, it's a rule that's been widely accepted by the biking community. It's actually really cool. It's also been accepted by the car community quite well. You kind of find a lot of cars are, are pulling over to the side a lot more now. You still get your occasional idiot that will pull up and, and right in the middle um, just to be a douche. But that's good, that's the way you expected. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is Morayfield, so uh, yeah, 40 minutes north of Brisbane. Sort of a fairly bustling area. Um, it's kind of the last sort of spot that you or suburb that you get to before you start heading to the Sunshine Coast. Put his kid's glasses on. She's so gangster. <laughs> she doesn't look like she wants to cross the road. She does not look happy. <laughs> I'll tell you, I love my house. You know, you sort of think oh, it's a cheap, sort of crappy Korean bike. Um, it, it couldn't be further from, from the truth. The bike itself is actually fairly good quality. Like it's actually enjoyable to ride. Uh, it's you know got good handling. It is cheap. That's going to be a given. But it's probably the best quality cheap thing I've ever bought. The parts for it are fairly cheap too. Uh, you know I've found I've had to replace the mirror. Uh, it wasn't quite a problem of mine. I snapped it off. Um, so you know the, the new mirror. For a whole pair of them, so two mirrors was like 20 bucks, including shipping. Um, it's awesome. Um, I haven't really done any modifications except for an LED kit. 
the light that comes with the bike is pretty rubbish you can hardly see a thing it's yeah it's crap uh, so I've uh, I've installed LED just makes it a little bit more visible and uh, and to be honest the the LED lights it actually illuminates better than what the the stock globe does which is really saying something about the globe it's it's rubbish any high sung riders uh, that are following me put in your comments below just just tell everyone how crap the light is that's the first thing you replace when you get a high sung is the light so that's the one thing that you sort of you, you are passing up on that sort of a quality aesthetics wise though the bike is actually pretty sexy so for a for a cheap bike uh, they're not too bad I'd, I'd particularly recommend it to you know to learner riders and those that are getting your first bike um, I've known a few people that have gone and there's 50 all the way back there I've known a few people that have gone and got you know expensive Yamahas and things like that as their first bike and um, they've trashed them it's you know it's given that you're going to drop or damage your first bike in some way shape or form I have and you know it's 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 just something that's going to happen so you basically it's better off getting something that's a little bit cheaper uh, that you can afford to just you know get cheap parts for or afford to replace so I would definitely recommend a higher song for sure um, then it's it's good powered I've got the 650 which is also lambs approved please wait don't go over front of me thank you uh, it's lambs approved now you guys don't know what lambs is I'm not talking about the little sheep Mwah. Um, I'm talking about the, the learner approved sort of scheme that Australia has. It makes it basically allowed to, or underneath a certain power to rate ratio that allows you to ride it safely, you know, so you're not going and, and being a learner and riding something ridiculous like a hard boost or, you know, something like that. So basically it's just a way that the bikes are, are limited so that you're not riding something ridiculous. Now this is the 650, uh, though it has throttle restrictions. So you can actually only crack the throttle up about 80% of the way. Which basically brings it under spec to be allowed to be ridden by learners. So that makes it pretty good and, and that, you know, it's... It's got enough grunt. It has enough up and go for a learner. You don't want too much more power than that. I've never actually been down here. I'm kind of just moseying around, just randomly. Um, going nowhere in particular. I was, I was a little bit bored, so... Do you even Pontiac? Um, so yeah, I was just figured I'll go for a ride. Entertain you guys. You probably like, you know, typed into Google search for photo vlogs or you know, probably probably chilling there on a the toilet having a crap or bored at work and you're watching me just babble on just randomly. Hopefully I'm entertaining to you guys. I am new to moto vlogging and I've pretty much got no idea what I'm doing. This is probably uh oh, it's a dead end. It's probably a dead end guys. <laughs> oh this is probably Australia's first uh, moto vlog filmed on a potato. Yeah, I've got some pretty crap gear. Um, I don't have any uh, good cameras. I've just got this $99 action camera that I got from Target once. And for the audio, I'm just recording it straight into my phone using a headset. That's probably why it sounds like rubbish. Uh, so I am saving up for a, a drift or a better camera. Uh, but for now, you guys are just going to have to put up with uh, this beautiful, beautiful 720p-ness. No. Oh. 720p-ness. Yeah, no. There's no way that I can say that better. There's no recovery from that. 720p camera. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a little bit of a motoring enthusiast. Anything that has a motor attached to it, I love watching, racing, whatever. Um, so, you know, you hear me talking about cars, 
I'm not a cage hater, uh, but I definitely love cars, you know, I love working on them, you know, I do a lot of mechanical sort of stuff. Uh, I, I'm not a mechanic, and I don't even pretend to know everything about cars. I just know how to do some things. And most of that knowledge is being gained by breaking down on the side of the road and trying to work out what the heck went wrong. Um, I've always been, you know, kind of person that pulls stuff apart. Nine times out of ten it goes back together. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, and still works. Uh, but there's the odd occasion that, yeah, I'll, I'll completely stuff something up. I haven't had the hugest amount of experience with different bikes. I've ridden a couple of them. Oh, there's the V cross. I've ridden a couple of different bikes. Um, it's a terrible pothole. That was a bad job trying to avoid those potholes. Um, I've ridden a Honda CB500F. I've ridden a, a KTM Duke. Um, the Duke wasn't by choice, unfortunately. I, uh, I dropped my bike in for a service one time and the lone bike they gave me was the Duke. And I looked at it, I was like, what the hell is this crap? Nothing against KTMs. They, they you know, the, the Super Dukes and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. Like I like them. Um, KTM. I think I think KTM overseas is known as Husqvarna. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I think I would like uh, Royal Jordanians Nuda. They're pretty cool. Better than this sounds like a beast too. I wouldn't mind one of those, um, but the Duke, it was only like 125cc and, and going from a 650 to a 125, uh, it felt like a big slap in the face and it sounded like a whippersnipper on wheels. It pretty much moved like one too. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't hate them. They're just not that nice. I don't, I don't like it. This guy's getting dressed in the car. That's hilarious. What? <laughs> Not dissing, I've done that before. <laughs> Being late to somewhere, like, yeah, crap, I'll just, I'll just chuck on my shirt and stuff in the car. So dangerous. I'm completely distracted. Stupid red lights. Oh, that's one thing I hate about motorbiking. If you drive past a fast food place or someone that's cooking a barbie, Oh, as you can smell, is just the aroma wafting off of the off the food. It's just like oh. now I feel like KFC. Damn it! Oh, you could use of your indicator, mate. Fantastic work. Top of the day to you. My hat off to your driving ability. Queenslanders, man, they don't indicate anywhere. Like you're leaving a roundabout. New South Wales, they pretty much drum it into your head. You got to, you got to indicate to leave a roundabout and all that sort of stuff. Well, it was like that when I was running, anyway. But um, Queenslanders, they suck at driving, like indicating or just any sort of courtesy. It's ridiculous. They never indicate. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, you got the uh, the keep left unless overtaking. Yeah, Queenslanders never do that. Even though there's signs for it here as well, they don't do it. I know in New South Wales, the cops are like really anal about that sort of stuff. The Queensland cops are fairly laid back when it comes to that. I think they're spending too much of their time uh, hunting down bikey gangs. That's about all we got time for this afternoon. Uh, look, I hope you enjoyed my moto vlog. 
Um, you know, there's probably going to be a few more to come soon. If you enjoyed my my stuff, if you if you got any comments or you know any hints or anything like that, feel free to chuck it in the comments section, and I'll be happy to take it on board. Until next time, this is a Ohio Rider. I will see you later.